is the day of the big reveal. What is happening people says welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm T2 Sugars, Welsh graffiti artist, and today this is our canvas. So this is a awesome little project that I'm doing for another YouTube channel called Finders Bleepers. If you don't know who they are, here's a little intro. So make sure that you go to Finders Bleepers on YouTube and check out their channel. The Matt and Andy come up with the most weird and wonderful places to explore as they are urban explorers with the best observation skills. The triangle down there. Oh. There. Oh, yeah. They fly from flies. Like larva, larvae that have turned into flies. That's what it looks like to me. The rice. Oh, it could be, oh, there's a bag of fucking rice there. <laughs> that makes sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> so make sure that you head over to Finders Beepers on YouTube, check out their channel, and be on the lookout for this upcoming project. I'm just about to explain what they are doing with this car. The guys have to spend £150 on a car and then drive it from Sheffield to Marrakesh. And what they've asked me to do is, is customize it to make sure that it stands out. And trust me, we're gonna make it stand out. We're gonna be painting the whole thing from floor to ceiling. First off, I'm gonna then tape up a load of the stuff that still makes the car road legal because it still has to be driven on the road at the end of the day, but I am literally going to cover the whole lot. And let's get this show on the road! Did you get it? A little road pun. Right, so we are done with the taping. I am just about to put the first bit of paint of the day on the van, on the car, on the van, on the car. It's not the best taping job in the world, but it'll do. Um, yeah, and now we are just about to put the first bit of paint onto the car itself. And uh, I'm hoping this is gonna look funky as. So to say that I am crapping myself is an understatement on this one. We're gonna go in with a grog cutter first because to get this sketch down perfectly, I'm gonna need a little bit more accuracy than a spray can and a doodle grid. So first gonna mark out these sketchy lines just to get the generic shape of the face. And then later on, chip away at the image and make sure that it looks exactly spot on. And it's nothing worse than a portrait not looking like a person because Matt and Andy are going to be coming down to collect this off me in person. I don't think it's anything worse than them seeing this for the first time and it not looking like them. So making sure that these portraits are absolutely bang on is going to be key to the success of this car portrait. So I'm just going to be chipping away at the final little lines here, making sure that everything is in the right space but you will see that the face is a little bit wonky, the nose is a little bit big, the eyes are a little bit big and a bit squiff, so I'm gonna fix that very soon. But first, I need to start with the background because it's pointless actually painting anything to do with the subject because the overspray from the background is just gonna destroy that bit part of the image. And uh, here we can see there's a little tag here from Jeff Paint. He came down and visited me a couple of days before I started this project and I thought it's a nice little Easter egg to get his tag up on there. And thanks for popping down to see me again, Jeff. And for all you guys that know who Jeff Paints is, go over to his channel, make sure you like and subscribe there. He's uh, doing amazing things over on his channel. I think I picked out the best color for this. The pink is gonna really pop off and turn heads when these guys drive to Marrakesh. Obviously they're gonna be going through France and Spain on the way there. And here's a quick little time lapse. We're all coming together. Now you can really see this portrait is a bit janky and a bit out of proportion. But I'm going to try to reassess it when I get these eye colors whites in and then readjust everything. So now I've readjusted the eyes and made sure that I've got all the details in the right place. Now to get the super fine lines that I get, I use what's called a tiny pink stencil cap. And I'm not sponsored by these guys in any way, shape or form, but their product is amazing. Uh, when it comes standard, the hole is a little bit small for me. So I drilled it out to be in a four millimeter hole and then it works perfect every time. And key little thing for portraits that I do personally 
is add a little white reflection in the eyes even if the reference picture doesn't have it it always brings the portrait to life and adds some life to the portrait so that's a little thing that i always try to do in my portrait painting and then we're gonna finish up this side with a logo design here and uh, a little silhouette of a scenery <laughs> it's coming along really well let's go into the little bits of details that i've put in on here so i've done this like little silhouette bit down the bottom with the logo which makes it look pretty i'm going to give you a final reveal of uh the both faces at the end but we're going to now move on to the other side and uh, get this side all blue so it's pink on the one side blue on the other and obviously it's blank now but let's check check up on some blue on there first and then doodle gritty for the face to get a proportions spot on but yeah it's coming out really well i'm really happy uh and we have a miserable little child <laughs> tidy got all this background in now put a nice little easter egg there for the boys wheels is the best so when you're inside you would see that on the window nice little easter egg there as you come round then to the front got the two colors meeting in the middle so yeah let's get the second portrait on oh yes people says as you can see i've actually overestimated how long this actual painting is going to take it actually took over two days because of oh my jesus christ that's scary it took over two days to do because children slow you down drastically here i'm just going to quickly explain how, what i'm doing in this part of the mural i'm adding in the base the mid-tones first then adding the shadows in and then working from light to dark adding in highlights where needed now join me for day two so good morning it is day two for this one because it did take slightly a bit longer than i expected to get this one finished because the portraits are so small that they take a lot longer and i have explained this in previous videos that smaller isn't better smaller is harder so we are probably about 50 percent done with the blue side um so yeah i'm gonna spend the next couple of hours making sure that this side is as good as the pink side so let's get some paint out and let's get it started <laughs> It is the big day, it is the big reveal. I am absolutely <laughs> my pants, uh, it's to say the least, because when you do portraits like this, where the person is coming then to see it for the first time, it's always the most nerve wracking thing in the entire world. So the car is all covered over for him now. So next thing is the reveal itself. And I hope that Matt and Andy really like it. Here we go. Oh my God. This is amazing, oh. this is amazing, oh my god, oh my god, how good is that? Jesus. That is that is one of the best things I've ever, because it's my face it's on it, face. massive, I'm guessing. Your face nearly I'm hoping that. that, let's have a look. Oh, he's got you to a T as well, look at that. That is amazing. This is the best thing oh I have ever god. seen. Right guys, you definitely need to get over and subscribe <laughs> because look, look, and I keep forgetting the name, I don't know Tinto why. Sugars. There you go. Get over, subscribe. How amazing is this? It is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. The eyelashes on it as well. Wow. That's perfect. That's absolutely so perfect. So so good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is brilliant. I'd not noticed that at all. So, oh, I think the guys are happy. Are you happy? More than happy. Ecstatic. Over the awesome. moon. So awesome. good. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.
Peace. So, what is happening, people? Is what is that? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and Nick, your footage of me pulling it off. Two little Easter eggs from the car, which I hope that you like. And uh, there's one particular one on the roof lining right here. I hope you like. Dad. Oh, for God's sake! Thank you.